Hello everyone and welcome to The Little Blue Fly. In today's video, I will be sharing a couple different things. Um, the update, on, an update on the mood wall, mood slash gallery wall. And then also I would really like to share some spring decorating uh, with the French country influence um, here today in the corner of the living room. This hutch was uh, find off of Facebook Marketplace and we will be decorating the top a little bit on the wall and down below. Now in about a week, yeah about a week, week and a half, all of these living room walls will be different. They are all getting painted. But I'm still going to go ahead and place something up on this wall. Um, in today's video because I just must it's it's a new piece and I just must put it up there okay so anyhow top shelf bottom shelf a little bit on the wall um, it will have all the rich and warm colors that I absolutely love and so yeah that being said let's begin shall we Just see that little creature buzz across the screen? Okay, I found it just a little bit ago. It was, I'm calling it a stink bug. I don't know. It could be something completely different. It's brown and sort of flat and has this octagon shaped body. So I just gently picked it up and released it outside. Okay, down below we have our electronics which I'm totally at peace with now. I was very fussy at the beginning, them being placed here in this hutch, but it's needed. We don't have much room here in this living room and it's for our surround sound. So, and that I absolutely love. So I'm perfectly fine with that now and we will just move up here and decorate the top shelf a little bit on the wall and the bottom shelf as well. I love all of this old world stenciling that is going on here up front. It will change though in about a week. Okay, so this and the reason why I said it's going to change is because all of the walls are getting painted. And then I think I'm going to push this hutch down closer to the wall, um, the corner part, because I'm adding in some drapes in front of the window and I kind of need a little bit more space. And then that cover that you see on the wall, that will get painted over with the paint color. But up at top, that was my vintage bunny picture that was recently thrifted and then I went to Hobby Lobby and had it framed. Um, it is an oil and it's of uh, two Himalayan rabbits. So if you do a search for um, Himalayan rabbits eating cabbage of vintage oil, you just might find one. It actually took me a moment to get my hands on one of these. And this pretty right here. Yes, again, we have Robin King. RobinKingDesigns.com If you have not already visited her site, 
you must. She is amazing at her craft. She has so many different vintage-inspired vintage pieces. Make sure to mention the Little Blue Fly for a kind discount. Now this is her tissue box, her pansy tissue box, and as you can see it has all the aged detailing, um, gorgeous, vivid colors. Love the pansies, the yellows and the rich purples. And on every side of her tissue box, there is the same in image. And up at top, she puts polka dots and the edges have the acrylic gold. Now I'm going to share another way I had to get a better hold of the tissue box. I'm going to share a different way to decorate with the tissue boxes today because there's so many different ways to use these. You just don't have to use it for tissue. You can have floral coming out of the top. This one is just super sweet. Love the forget-me-nots in the basket. Again, the perfect touch of whimsy up at top. The image is on all four sides and then on the inside she makes sure to sign her name and the year that it was made. And again, in the coupon box, type in the little blue fly for a kind discount. Okay, so here we have just three of them. I decided to stack them. Now my goal is here to have several, <laughs> several of these tissue boxes and just have a collage of them stacked up in many different ways. And then I can pick and play as I choose. <laughs> I cannot wait to accomplish that. But for today, we will be using three of them. So again, there's so many different creative ways to use these tissue boxes. And this is what I love about Robin's work. It does not have to just be used in one way. I love to change things up all the time, as you very well know, and to use them in different creative ways. Okay, I have a couple pots at the end of the hutch. They were purchased from Maryfield Garden. And then here to the right, I placed in an antique um, lamp that I went ahead and painted gold and aged. And I placed it on top of my um, Harlequin. It's a, just a little round tray. I do have a a video on this I decided to paint some harlequins it was so much fun so there is a tutorial step by step on how to paint this design on any surface this lamp base was painted with acrylic gold and then aged with glaze and I found the lampshade out thrifting I placed a vintage clock. Uh, I love using old and new clocks, but I'm placing the vintage one down below. Here is another tissue box. I thought this one would look perfect down here because I'm working with um, a little bit more muted colors down here. I love this image. I really enjoy decorating with the bunnies, especially when they're all dressed up. Now this one I am using as a tissue box because with all the trees blooming now, I call them popcorn trees. We have white and pink and I need this tissue. This is a very old book that um, I picked up last year during the Purserville tag sale. 
very old. We are about to open it up to see just how old it is. The older, the better, because the pages get all like a tobacco yellow color. Let's see. 1884. How about that? Now that's old. Okay, that's real old. And the pages are still intact. This is a wonderful piece here. I wish I could read this, though. But that's okay. I love decorating with the older books. Uh, both of them, really. The aged ones and then the ones that, you know, have that high gloss to them with all the gold. This is just an old copper little tray that I place all my little watch pieces in. Try to hold it better so I can get a better view for you all. So this is several different um, just watch pieces. Some of them work and I get to see all the mechanics moving and some not. But it's just fun looking through them. I don't know what it is. You know, I get to, you know, just fingering through them all and holding them and winding them. And it just helps me um, create, if, if that makes sense. I added in a sedum in the back. And another up at front. I just sort of wanted it to hug around the clock just something simple those were purchased from Maryfield Garden this lamp gives a nice uh, yellow glow to it some of us like when a lamp gives us the white and others yellow I'm definitely a yellow girl okay we're going to move back up at top now and add in a few more items. I love that bunny picture. Okay, when I was taking these out, I realized, yes, I still have one. I'm keeping this tag just for when I do videos. So this is by Winward. I'll flip the tag around because these were purchased from Maryfield Garden. For those of you that feel like going on the hunt, there's the number up at top. It is a rose hip pick. And I hope many of you can find these. I have tried and I will keep looking. Gorgeous green that can be used through every season. And you will see, I will be using them every season. So I placed three of them up at top to the left and just look at the difference you know when you start adding in the faux berries it just really warms things up these are my french fable books i have three of them i did uh find these on facebook marketplace these are a navy blue i know here on the camera they might be looking a little bit black but they are a rich blue with all the fabulous gold. These are in excellent condition. And again, I love using these new books along with the vintage ones, the ones that have been more worn, I guess I'm trying to say. Some are all, you know, shiny and just wonderful detail. And then the other ones... You, they demand just as much at attention being all old and worn and torn. And I just wanted to share how you can definitely work both of them together into your decor. I decided I needed to add a little bit more back behind the books. So I placed in one of my pewter vessels and just put in some brown stick carrots. Again, I love bringing something up 
with um, the fancy pieces and then pulling it down with the ones that um, are not as as shiny and, and just to give it a comfortable balance. Because sometimes when we're around too much new, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm not comfortable. Do I sit down? Do I stay in this room? And I don't ever want to have an area like that in my home. Lived in, for sure, lived in. Okay, this is a Facebook Marketplace find. It is a vintage brass and glass hurricane. And I will be placing a candle in there um, with some of these vintage hand-painted eggs. Another Facebook Marketplace find. And just to give you um, just a little update here, I mean, what a difference. We're, we're moving right along, right? This is polycrylic um, semi-gloss, and I placed it all in the window. And as you can see, one shelf. I'm going to put one shelf up in that window. This is going to be gorgeous. I mean, I'm so excited. So the poly has now cured. I can tape around and start the painting. Couldn't be more gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I just, I... I'm so excited. Like a little girl over here cannot believe this window was back behind that false wall. And I have worked so hard, so hard to bring it all back to its glory. I'm telling you, this cottage is smiling. It is so happy that it is getting its original beauty back and then some. Make sure to return next week for more decorating.